Hello, everyone. Uh, so remember what we did last time. We were making amount uh, deposits rather of 30811 starting on May 1st, 2013. And we were continuing to do that every six months, except for one small one final smaller uh, semi-annual payment, and we were doing that until we accumulated two thousand dollars. So remember last time what the uh, time diagram looked like. Okay. So the time diagram was exactly as I described. Uh, we computed that. Um, we stopped the 30811 deposits on May 1st, 2015. And then on November 1st, we had a final uh, payment or rather deposit to our account at 238.57. And uh, so let's do the check um, that I did not do in the last video that this actually gives us $2,000 as desired. So I'm going, I want to do this check just doing the way we did things in the previous videos, not using annuity formulas, uh, but just as a sanity check and to connect it to what we've been doing in the past. Uh, I just want to double check my answer um, without using the annuity formulas. I mean, from now on, I will use annuity formulas. They make life easier. Uh, but anyway, so, uh, right, so the 30811, that accrues one, two, three, four, five periods of interest. Okay. And remember the um, six month interest rate uh, was 4.5%. It was 9% over two, which is, you know, 0.045. Okay. So this is gonna be to the fifth. Uh, the November 1st, 2013 payment accrues one, two, three, four periods of interest. So we keep going until the last 308 accrues one six month period of interest. All right, so it's 1.045. Try to write this quickly to the fourth. And of course, you can factor out a 308. Uh, I'll do that in a little bit. So this is to the third. This is to the second. That's uh, 11 here. Looks a little messy, but. Uh, plus 308, 11, 1.045. And last but not least, the 238.57. Okay, so uh, this is going to be equal to, well, first I gotta factor out, let's factor out a 308.11, and let's factor out a 1.045. Okay, so I'm factoring out 308.11, 1.045. I'll do the geometric series formula in a second. Uh, this is gonna be 1.045 to the fourth, 1.045 cubed squared, and then um, 1.045 and then plus one, and then it's 238.57, okay. So this is just gonna be uh, 308, just finish this up real quickly, um, 1.045, One minus 1.045 to the uh, fifth. So it's the, remember it's the highest exponent plus one, four plus one is five. Over one minus 1.045. Okay, 
plus 238.57. And you dump this into the calculator, you can check you're going to get basically $2,000. So, so the sanity check uh, works. We actually did this correctly. Um, and, you know, this last pin of 238 and making the last 308 11 payment on May 1st, 2015, and rather having six months later the last payment of 238.57 gives us exactly uh, $2,000. All right, so let's uh, move on. All right, so uh, what happens when you have um, an annuity immediate, or just an annuity in general, um, when you have uh, payments that aren't exactly constant or interest rates that aren't exactly constant? Well, to use our formulas, you have really no choice but to break um, these annuities up into multiple annuities, each of which has a constant payment uh, amount and a constant interest rate. And drawing di time diagrams really, really makes these problems a lot easier. Um, so let me do a uh, relatively straightforward example. I have a 15-year annuity. Payments are $100 at the end of each year. Let's say uh, interest rate is 7% for the first six years and 8% for the next nine years. Let's find the accumulated value uh, of this annuity. Okay. So, um, yeah, let's go to the whiteboard. Okay, so, um, right, so let's draw our time diagram. So in particular, um, right, so for the first six years, we have 7% interest. So let's indicate that. So I'm just going to move this up a bit. Okay, so, uh, right. So here, um, well, so I is, as I mentioned, I like to reserve it for uh, annual, effective annual interest rate. But just to get it to match our formulas, let's say J uh, is 0 0.07. And remember that 7% effective annual interest. Okay. Now remember, um, move this up a bit. That for the next nine years, so six, seven, all the way to the end of the um, 15th year, <clears throat> um, interest is going to be 8%. Okay. But we still have level payments of 100 the entire time. So it's not really necessary to, I would say, draw the original timeline. I'm just doing it this one time just to make clear what exactly is going on. All right, so we're going to break this up into two annuities. So let's first do this annuity where for uh, the beginning up to the end of the sixth year, we have constant payments of 100, a constant interest rate of 7%. Great. Right. And uh, of course, the, this timeline here, you know, this is one at the end of the first year, second year, fifth year, sixth year. So the timeline matches up. Okay, um, so, right, so what do we do? Well, let's just use our formula. So the accumulated value of this is 100S um, uh, 
six, there's six years in this annuity. 0.07, all right. So, um, and yeah, just to make this a little cleaner looking or neater looking, I'll do this here. So the way you want to think is these six $100 deposits gave us this amount in the account at the end of the sixth year. But this amount still sits in this account for nine more years. And this account earns 8% interest for these nine years. So whatever this is, I mean, it is 100 S6.07. Whatever that is, at the end of the 15th year, this is going to accrue, they mentioned nine uh, years of interest at interest rate of 8%. So it's gonna be uh, this 100 S6.07 times 1.08 to the ninth. Uh, sorry about that, didn't mean to do that. They make this look more like a nine. Okay, so now let's take care of these nine payments here. Okay, so I'll go to another page. Uh, let's see, it was roughly here, uh, right after the eraser. So we'll start roughly here. And where did it end? Uh, right about there. Uh, don't know why it gave me a new page. Uh, so I'll just do this here. Anyway, sorry about that. Okay, so, right, so this is six, seven, all the way up to 15. Okay, so 100. So I'm not writing 100 for the six because we already uh, took care of that. Okay. <clears throat> okay, so uh, very simply, these $100 payments accrue to uh, 100 S9. There's nine of them. It's going to be S9.08, uh, because remember, interest rate here is 8%. Okay. So all we're going to do is take this amount, add it up to this here. Right. So... Um, Right, so we take this amount here, add it up to this amount here, All right? And I'm gonna get rid of this here. All right, so the accumulated value is going to be uh, this amount here that I had before. I'll just write it down, 1,000 S6.07 which again itself accumulated nine years of interest plus, uh, sorry, that's 100, not 1,000. Don't know why I put 1,000 there, but anyway. Uh, There we go, uh, 100 S9.08, and you should be able to plug this into formulas. Um, as I mentioned, if maybe a few videos will 
uh, figure out how to do these very quickly using our calculator. Um, at least, you know, computing S6.07, S9.08, getting this actual, uh, you know, equation, getting things to fit into our annuity formulas or getting it to, uh, getting it into a uh, place where we can use our annuity formulas. Uh, the only thing that can do that is right up here. There's no calculator that can do that. Um, which what makes in my opinion this course uh, interesting. But anyway, you know, in this course, you got plenty of plenty of plenty of time to do problems. On the actual exam, you don't. So time is of the essence there. So being able to do these really quickly, the, the you know, um, as I mentioned, being able to compute these very quickly is, yeah, it's just, you, you, you need it. It's, it's really that important. And thus we'll go through it uh, in a little bit. So, um, right, so your answer is gonna be, you can check, $2,670.70. Okay, so uh, let's get back to a different example here. So this one's kind of a pain, but it's the same idea. Um, an annuity has interest 3% per period for the first 30 periods. Uh, then 4% the next 20 periods bigger. Payment at the end of each period are 500 for the first 40 periods and then 400 for the next 10 periods. Find the accumulated value. Okay, so um, yeah, I'll try to do this a little more quickly. So I will draw the whole time diagram um, just to illustrate what's going on here. All right, so right, let's go to um, our whiteboard. Okay, so, all right, make this nice and big, so I'm gonna need plenty of room, let's do that. So this is, yeah, this is kind of a pain when you see this at first, but, um, you know, as you do these, as you go through this example and do homework, it's, it's really a pretty straightforward problem. Okay, so um, let's write down, let me write down first the interest rate change that occurs after 30 years. So zero, one, two, Go up to 30. So interest here is 3% per period. Okay. And for the rest of the problem, interest is uh, 4%. Uh, sorry. It, it is 4%, but that's going to be 0.04. Okay, so um, for the first 40 periods, payments are 500, the end of each period. So write all that in. Uh, and then they become 400. until the very end, at the end of 50 periods, the last payment is 400. So uh, we have no choice but to break this up into three annuities to use our annuity formulas. That's just uh, what we have to do. Because um, we have a um, interest rate change here, so we have to take uh, this 30 period annuity, 500 payments, and then figure out what, and then that, let that accrue 20 periods of interest. Then we have to take um, this uh, 31 to 40, this uh, 10 period annuity, and then um, let that accrue 10 uh, 
periods of interest. And then finally, just take the accumulated value of um, this annuity here, this 10 period annuity. So uh, rather than just say it, and let, let me actually write stuff down. Okay. So let's take care of the, uh, so yeah, maybe I should uh, write down. Yeah, so this here is my first annuity. Uh, annuity one. This is going to be my second annuity. And then last but not least, and of course, again, remembering that we take accumulated value and then from 30 to 50, that accumulated value accrues um, 20 periods of interest. This accumulated value accrues 10 periods of interest. And then last but not least, um, this is my annuity three. And again, we want the second annuity to start um, at the end of the 30th year because that means you know when we write the timeline like that we actually get an annuity uh immediate meaning um payments are at the end of each period and same thing we want annuity three to start at the end of the 40th period because um now even though we've taken care of that payment of 500 um in the previous annuity if we do that then annuity three will actually be an annuity immediate payments are at the end of each period. All right, so let's get to it. So for annuity one, um, draw the time diagram. So zero, one, two, all the way up 30, uh, here's 50. Okay, so it's 500, 500, 500. So that's going to be 500. I uh, remember interest here is 0 0.03, interest here is 0 0.04. So let me do this quickly because it's not really that much different than the previous example. So 500 S. Um, 30.03, and that accrues, as I mentioned, 20 periods of interest. And an interest rate of 4%. Okay, so that's the accumulated value at the end of the 50th period. Um, maybe I'll put this in a different color. Um, sure, whatever. Okay. So we're gonna do like we did before. We're gonna add up all three um, accumulated values at the end of the 50th period. All right, so... Uh, Let's do the next annuity, annuity three. Remember that went from uh, 30 to 40. So start off uh, 30. So yeah, if I'm just spending too much time on this, my apologies, but I think it's worthwhile to at least go through this slowly once. Um, make sure we're all on the same page. Cause it's a very important concept, uh, understanding how to break up annuities into multiple annuities to use your formulas. Okay, so, uh, right. So this is 500 uh, and again, um, remember, uh, here's 50. Interest here is 0.03. And here, interest is 0.04, so it's 500. Give myself plenty of room, uh, as you should when you do these problems. Um, sorry, this is a 10-year annuity, 30 to 40, 0.04. 
And this accrues. It's going to be tough to fit this in here, but anyway. Uh, 500. S10.04. Just the same thing here, and that accrues 10 periods of interest. Okay, so that's the accumulated value at the end of the 50th period. Uh, I think I used this color. Yeah, that's the accumulated value uh, of at the end of the 50th period of annuity three. And finally, let's do annuity. Um, sorry, annuity two. We just did annuity two, the accumulated value of annuity two at the end of the 50th period. Sorry about that. So let's finally do uh, uh, the third annuity. Okay, so that's 400. And again, in my time diagrams, I'm including this 40 here. I'm including this 30 here. Well, zero is included. Um, because that means 30 to 40 is a 10 period annuity. 40 to 50 is a 10 period annuity. Okay. And payments are at the end of each period when I do that, at the end of the um, 40th period is when the annuity start. Um, so, so yeah, payments are at the end of each period here, here, and here, when I draw my time diagram like this. All right, so uh, 400S um, 10.04. All right, uh, right. Okay, so, um, right. So let me just write down what each of these are gonna be. This is going to be um, and you should check in your calculator, 52,121, uh, 80. This is going to be uh, 8,800, eight, uh, sorry, 8,885 and 99 cents. And last but not least, this is going to be um, 4,802 and 23 cents. So the accumulated value, add all these up, 121. Yeah, and if you prefer, actually, I go through PDFs rather than write things down, uh, let me know. Um, doesn't really matter all that much to me, but figure this is maybe a little more natural, but it is taking more time, which has been annoying. But anyway, um, so your final answer is 65,810.23.